Today is Tech Tuesday, so we are looking at gadgets. And here we are. We are looking at a very interesting button-shaped wireless mic by Ceramonic. And this is the Bling Me B2. Jimmy Chang here from Vet35 and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are looking at a wireless mic today, but why do I review a wireless mic in today's market? It's flooded with everything from Rode to DJI to any brand you can name because I even review quite a few in this channel as well. Well, I review the B2 because it's different. In difference, it's not in the sense of audio quality because it is good, but it's design. Well, first of all, look at it. It's a button. And I like buttons, you know, I know uh, there are companies that are now making button shaped mics here, but this is different because it's got a touch screen as well, which I totally adore. Right, Rode and DJI and all the other mics at the moment are button based, so like either have to touch several button combinations to access certain feature, for instance, or you have loads of buttons like DJI, you know, it's good, you're not the bad, but you know, it's just a little bit more, um, cumbersome because there's just so many buttons here. It does have haptic feedback to, to tell you that you've pressed something, but nothing beats a touch screen. It shows you everything you need to see. You know, you can scroll, tap, you know, you know you've selected something. Everything's on screen. So much easier, so much more intuitive to use. I think generally design-wise, this is, would be my preference. I do like how easy it is to use. And just so you know that the entire episode today is filming using the Bling Me B2 as well. If you like the sound, if you like how you hear it, yeah, this is actually how it sounds, <laughs> which is pretty good. And uh, I like how easy to fit into different systems so because it's a magnetic thing here. It supplies you with magnetic button, magnetic clips so you can use a different solution, for instance. A night road, basically has a built-in clip. I don't think they use magnets yet. And uh, DJI does use magnet. It has a built-in clip as well. So it does, you can use both, but the clip is cannot be removed. It always stays on there. But this is just flat, flat. So you know, it's kind of cool. But there's a reason for which I'm going to come to that in just a moment. But overall design, it's good. Another interesting about ceremony is the power solution. Well, when I say power, is the charging solution, right? Rode Wireless Pro and the DJI both supply you with a charging case so you can put the units in there and charge it that way. However, it is a bulky unit that take up some of your valuable space in your camera bag. If you want the ultimate solution, and I think Ceremonic has it because the receiver itself is the charging hub believe me or not. So basically you can plug the two mics onto the receiver yourself and it charges it. I think the battery juice is good for about two charges. And so it's not, I would say, give you a lot of juice. It lasts you like forever, for instance. But having said that, for me, you know, I've said, I'm just filming on and off here, you know, vlogging on and off here and there. I'm not going to continuously using them. So it does last me through the entire day without having to charge it. But even if you do, plug it uh, to your power bank and charge it. You know, if you're moving from point A to point B, just top it up. It's good, it's good really for a long time, to be quite honest. So you don't need a separate charging case for that. And this is a pretty neat solution. Comparatively, Ceremonic B2 is also very valuable for money. I know it is not a cheap, cheap unit, but you know, like I said, the sound quality is good. So it justifies itself for the price, but it does give you everything you need in a package right if you open it it does even give you a smartphone clamp to <laughs> to clamp your smartphone on and also four magnetic buttons a couple of magnetic clips and also all the cables you need to connect to your cameras and even to your phones via lightning or usb-c which is fantastic you don't have to buy separate cables separate accessories to do that everything is provided into this little pouch here so yeah i i think that you know they are giving you everything <laughs> Now, sound quality, which is the main thing, right? Sound quality, this is why you buy the mic for, to improve the sound productions, right? It is good. It is as good as anything else here. Not quite matching the DJI. Perhaps the DJI is slightly better in that sense because it's a 32-bit unit right here, even though if you're operating singularly, you don't get a 32-bit, only in conjunction with the DJI receiver itself. Uh, but other than that, 
I think it's as good as Rode and anything that I've reviewed so far, much better than some of the lower options. For instance, it's good reflecting a price point. So that is really good. It does have a noise reduction button dedicated on the side of the unit here. You can access all via the touchscreen menu here to enable noise reduction, which I find it to be quite effective if not a little bit artificial. It does sound a little bit teeny if you enable that. Um, so this is actually pretty effective. So if you are constantly in a very noisy environment, you want to make sure your voice pop, uh, this could be the solution for you. And also, I do love the touchscreen. I think I already mentioned that the touchscreen is phenomenal and I do think that it's way easier, way more intuitive to use than any of the units I've tried so far. Uh, it does even allow you to customize the, 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 uh, the wallpaper, which is interesting. I already customized one here uh, through the app and uh, there's so much you can select the built-in ones here. Also, you can basically use one of your uh, uh, pictures to be the background as well. So yeah, you can personalize it a little bit, make it a little bit more fun. This is not supposed to be a very serious uh, kind of professional presentation anyway. This is supposed to be a little bit cool, you know, like what we're doing right now. And I don't mind that if you don't like it, you can switch off the display while recording so you don't have to show it off your pictures that you kind of so happened to take last week and you think that you're supposed to be showing everybody in the world. Uh, anyway, it is cool. I do like that. And uh, other than that, I think the uh, Ceremonic Bling Me B2 is a viable product and it's certainly very relevant in today's market, especially through the touchscreen interface. It's definitely by far, I think personally, a uh, 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 way more intuitive than anything else I have tried uh, to date. So that is good in that sense. Uh, but like I said, you know, the touchscreen is not for everybody. It certainly is not going to work too well in wet situations like raining, and this thing is not weather sealed anyway. Um, the, the only thing that I may want to complain is probably is there's no option for using a 3.5 mil uh, a cable. So that means you can't plug in a lavalier mic, for instance, and uh, you have to wear the unit hence the name bling me bling bling yeah you know like fashion accessory just like carrying some bling bling right you know so that's why it's called bling me b2 <laughs> b2 button 2 i don't know i don't know where they came up with the name but anyway that's i'm guessing uh so anyway it's good and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's tech tuesday's review on ceremonics bling me b2 mic if you like how it sounds which is you know what is coming through the mic at the moment uh this is definitely worth considering and if you're in the market looking for something uh, that looks different, operating differently while maintaining good sound, and if you don't mind magnetically clipping onto your shirts and jacket, yeah, this is a very, very interesting proposition against Rode and DJI. Thank you very much for watching, and you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you're in the state to all things photography and filmmaking. Until next time, see you all very, very soon in the next Tech Tuesday. Bye for now. Peace. Welcome to the bonus section, and yes, I genuinely interested in the Ceremony B2 mic. I mean, like I've been using it for the last couple of weeks for different episodes now that I've been filming for this channel, and I think that it's very easy to use. I don't mind all these exposed elements anyway because everybody seems to like to wear their mics. And uh, the DJ, I like the DJ as well. Of course, it pairs with the uh, Pocket 3 cameras that I always carry around London when I'm going vlog and things like that. But if I want, let's say, filming right now, and uh, this is simple, this is quite easy to use. If I really need to vlog with a bigger cameras, I think this would also be the solution as well. So. Road over time, I mean, I'm, I'm becoming less and less interested in the product uh, the, because they haven't really quite changed much. I know the Pro is quite good. It has 32-bit recording, so that is pretty neat. It does also have a 3.5mm jack for you to uh, plug in a, a lavalier mic, for instance, but so does DJI. Um, so I think Rode probably need to step up a little bit and uh, uh, to change the design just a little bit, modernize itself a little bit um, at the moment. As good as the sound goes, the design is just getting a little bit dated now. They haven't really changed the fundamentals of the design since the original Wireless Go. Um, that is quite a few years ago now. So I think it is time perhaps Road to step up and to change the design just a little bit, um, the update a little bit, maybe giving you touch, uh, touchscreen interfaces just like the ceremony here. Um, the 32-bit is already there, but make the units a little bit smaller. You know, like look at the size difference here between the two here. It just, you know, you know, I could forgive that ceremony's got a touch screen, so it needs to be a little bit bigger for you to touch. But as a unit itself, 
the DJI unit is literally half the size and um, for the same quality. So yeah, I think I think Rode is uh, is it needs to stay relevant by updating the design at the moment it is not so hopefully the next product we see from them will be better <laughs> anyway let me know your thoughts about uh, the ceremonic mic uh, i would like to hear from you because i generally like it because i do like the little look of it you know um, look at my wallpaper my wallpaper is pretty neat <laughs> anyway uh, until next time i'll speak to you all very soon bye for now